Being a barber usually means cutting all kinds of customers' hair in all kinds of styles and sometimes dealing with some less than enthusiastic reactions. But few as extreme as what barbershop owner Robbie Pacitti recently experienced and shared on social media. So this 17-year-old kid comes to the barbershop for the first time. I'm like, hey, bub, what do you want? He's like, I want a high and tight. I'm like, oh, all right, let's get it. I go, what, what do you want on top? He's like, a number two. I literally stop and I'm like, bro, a number two's real short. He's like, yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. I'm like, are you sure? It's real short. Yep, yep, just do it. I said, okay, grab the number two, bang. This kid literally said nothing the entire haircut, nothing. He tips me. I'm like, hey, bro, have a good one, dude. Have a, have a good school year. Do good at basketball, all that. 20 minutes later, his mom comes busting in the door. Oh, it's too short. It's too short. I'm like, hun, your, your son asked for a number two. No, no, no. It's too short. It's too short. I'm going to sue you. I'll see you in court. And she calls 911. Look at this lady wasting my day. Wait for a bad right for there. a bad haircut. Yeah, for a bad one. haircut that yeah, I one, one. that I gave her that I gave her son that he asked for. I was shocked. Literally deep down I what, what was going through my mind too. I was like, is this a joke? You Look laugh? at her. Wasting my day. Look at this whack job. And then when it really hit me, I was like, wow. And I was like, I, I gotta I have to film this. Go. Can you tell him to get away from that, my face? No, I won't. No, I won't. I Look at her. Well. Look at her. Well. Calling the police over something so small, something bad could have happened to someone, and they needed those resources to get help. Look at her. <laughs> and I just thought it was out of control. Five minutes later, the police do show up. I explained to them everything that happened. They were literally speechless, like there was not much words being said. I never asked what she was saying. They never told me really what she was saying. They just wanted my side, and I guess they got her side. No charges are filed, but this experience has changed the way Robbie handles his business. Now I ask a few more questions. You know, um, I'm a little hesitant. Like, if a kid comes in by himself, I'll just make sure. I ask now mostly everybody if they can provide a picture of what they want. I didn't switch on my style. I, I kind of switched on my approach. Look at it. Look at her. <laughs> Tensions and entitlement are rising at a convenience store in Sterling, Virginia, as a man begins recording a customer who he claims has been complaining about the checkout line moving too slowly. Oh, you're in a hurry. Oh, yeah. The woman to her right has stepped aside to let her go first. Are you in line? No, she was way ahead of you. Okay, well, she should be in line and go her turn. She was before you. Okay, she should go. I think she's being polite. At this point, everyone seems a little perturbed. And as the impatient customer attempts to purchase some alcohol, it only gets worse. Ma'am, I need your ID. Yeah, I will put my phone in there. I need your ID. I can put my phone in there. Everybody gets ID and mine gets scanned number. every time I'm here. ID is required to buy alcohol at this store, regardless of one's age. There's nothing in here for you to ring out. I have American Express as Platinum. I bet that's it. You yeah. have no product in there because you've given me no ID. But the woman remains unconvinced. Do you want to give me an ID? You know what, give me a manager. manager. I am the manager. She is the manager. I don't believe it. I'm here every day. I have to show my ID every day. Just show it. Who the hell are you? I'm not Karen. Okay, here's the deal, or I will call the police, okay? You need I to leave. This is gonna do you no good. That's a very valid card. Ma'am, there's you, no put product put it in your purse then. because you won't give me your ID. Finally, she relents. Okay, I'll give you my ID, right here. Here you go. That's all we had to do. Here you go. All we had to do. But the testy back and forths continue. Now you can put your platinum. Yes, platinum. Thank you. Cool. It's a platinum. We're all impressed. Sweet. You, you don't know anything there. about You look very rich. You do. I, yes, I'm rich. Mm -hmm. you I look am. It. I am rich. I like your stuff. Yeah, You're done. thank you. Your nappy hair. She finishes up her much longer than necessary transaction 
with one final caustic sign-off. I don't even tell you bye. <laughs> Proof positive that even a platinum card's worth of entitlement buys not even a moment of patience. I forget what I even came in for. You asked why I'm here? Yeah, I did. What you mean? You're not allowed to eat here. I'm not allowed to eat here. The woman filming is a guest at this Georgia hotel. And according to her, this guest has been telling her she has to leave for some unknown reason. And now both of them oh, I'm checking out. I'm a slap are heading toward a confrontation. <laughs> Get out of here. Man. She can I don't care. You can't put her out of here. Come on. The woman allegedly spits on the woman recording and pays a price. Ooh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bitch. I'm sorry. Stop. Spit on me again, bitch. The woman's apology is too little, too late. Yeah. And the lesson is pretty clear. If you don't like a guest at a particular hotel, <gasps> find yourself another place to stay. On a flight from New Orleans to Charlotte, a woman has begun filming the passenger sitting behind her because he has, apparently, been intentionally hitting the back of her reclined seat as he tries to eat his lunch. What's the problem? What's the problem? So I asked you politely, if you was lying up the steering wheel, trying to eat. I don't know, did you see her? You just decided to push her right back in the middle of my knees again. So I think it's quite a quite angry thing to do. I said, well, I don't know if it was terrible. I don't have one. Cool. The man continues to hit the woman's seat. And the woman, who claims to have reclined her seat to assist with a medical condition, refuses to move it. Which eventually causes the man to upgrade from slaps to punches. And a variety of tempos. Finally, after nearly six consecutive minutes of this man-made turbulence, she alerts the attendant. Yeah, the man behind me is continuously, purposefully, purposefully banging into my seat. But according to the woman, to her surprise, she is the one slapped with a disturbance notice and threatened with removal from the plane. Regardless of what side you fall on, perhaps the most important thing to remember is this. Flying can be rough on everyone. So be as nice to each other as you can. At least until you get back on the ground. It'd be great if you put it on the plane. I paid $2,000 for me off. This irate would-be passenger in a Texas airport has just been told he's not allowed to fly because according to police reports, he's been pounding his fist on the jet bridge door and is allegedly intoxicated. We can control air I don't give a about a single person here. I gave your airline $2,000 to be sitting on that flight right now. And he doesn't appear interested in trying to reason with them. Yeah, yeah you hear that? Dude, die slow, dirty ass. As his foul mouth rant continues, airport police arrive at the gate. What? I paid for a flight. They took $2,000 on that flight. Now it's not on that flight. How the f do I get the law? I don't know. I'm not even going to be able to Hey, if I spent 
Color Strong. Right. Round trip from Long View to Bedford, Bedford back to Long View. Why the f am I not on a flight back to Long View? Despite the man's highly aggressive stance, the officer calmly gets down to the matter at hand. And your chocolate about three margaritas. About three margaritas. Yeah, you got a problem with that? Why do you have a problem with that? And you have a liquor bar in this airport. You! Listen! Listen! I'm on a flight! With no end to the man's rage in sight, a third officer now moves into position behind him. Why? There's no reason to arrest me. Turn around now. Why? Turn around. A bystander attempts to assist the officers but he's immediately ordered to step aside. Get away! Get away! And for good reason. <laughs> the taser quickly brings the man down. He's finally handcuffed, much to the relief of other passengers. <laughs> he is arrested and charged with assault on the peace officer, resisting arrest and public intoxication. A valuable lesson. If ever denied boarding for any reason, do your best to remain calm or your travels might get much, much worse from there. In Charlotte, North Carolina, the man at this drive through window has a problem with his order. I need my money back and I want it fast. A big problem. Double hamburger. Is there cheese in hamburger? There's no cheese in hamburger. When you have a cheeseburger, you have a cheeseburger. If you have hamburger, you have hamburger. But the presence of cheese is not the only problem with his order. There's not even bacon on this, and not onion on this, and not anything that I asked for. This is sucked in confidence. I cannot believe it. it happens every time I come here. I want my money back. But the enraged customer's biggest beef? I'm losing my because this happened the past three times I've come. Please be confident once in your life. Once. Take an order and fill it. And to top it off, when he finally receives his refund, I paid more than this. I want 10 bucks. You sons of bitches. Sons of bitches. Someone please give this poor man a hamburger. The double hamburger. That's hamburger. Hold the cheese. There's no cheese in hamburger. In a recent survey, over half of all rideshare drivers who responded said that rideshare companies need to do more to ensure their safety when dealing with unruly customers. And there's more than enough video evidence to understand why. Thank you for extending me your seat cover considering I had nothing. You offered me no you, napkin. No, you didn't no ask. Nothing. You, you, you didn't offer me anything to, to blow my nose. A rideshare driver is dealing with a problem passenger who seems to be intoxicated. And she just ripped off a headrest cover to use as a tissue. You didn't offer me anything to, to blow my nose. Thank you for... You for, didn't ask. For, for the seat cover. You haven't spoken to me since you've gotten in the car. I yeah, said, hello, how are you. you? Thank you, madam. From here, things only get more bizarre and more belligerent. Since you considered me your, your jealousy from picking me up, I'm jealous of yes, picking you, you up. Yes, you are so jealous from picking me up. Thank you for offering me your seat cover. Mm, you're welcome. I really appreciate that. What, what else do you have to offer me, madam? The driver, who up until this point has managed to keep her cool, begins to lose her patience. Do you 
you really want to make it this next half a mile, or do you want to walk it, honey? Um, do you want to... quarter mile. I have the right to kick you out of my car. Excuse me. What do you want to offer me? I want to offer you point four of a mile. Shut your ass. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. But this writer has no intention of shutting her mouth or stopping her unsavory act with the upholstery. And as the ride approaches its end point, the situation takes a sudden, sharp left turn. Like, I'm sorry, I don't have the same skin tone as you. You're where is your apartment? No, 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 I don't have the same skin tone as you, so you're kicking me out of your car, bitch. What is that supposed what to mean? What the f is that supposed to mean? I don't have the same skin tone as you, so you're your kicking me over. out of the same car. Your ride is over. Your ride is over. Your ride is over. Your ride is over. If you I don't, don't have you, bitch. <laughs> the driver spots a security guard nearby and asks for help. Bitch, because I don't have the same I'm a driver, you. and if you could please uh -huh. help me, that would be awesome. And that's when the rider crosses a final line. Driver, you. <laughs> Are you I don't the skin tone is you, bitch. What the f? What the f? What the f? I'm getting out of your car because I don't have the skin tone is you, bitch. The writer spits at the driver, I don't which is legally considered battery in the state of Florida. The driver retaliates by physically confronting the passenger in the back seat while pleading for the security guard to call for help. Please call the police! Call the police! Are you kidding me? Call the police right now. Yep. Hey, you don't want to turn her loose, ma'am. Yep. Let me go. Are you kidding me? Get the out of my car. I'm getting the out of your car. The passenger exits the vehicle, and the nightmarish ride finally comes to an end. Bitch. Yeah, bitch. you're a bad bitch, aren't you? But thanks in part to the video. Oh, I have her snip. I have her snot. I have her Police are able to track the passenger down. 28-year-old Stephanie Young is arrested and charged with battery. She is released on a $500 bond. I don't and is permanently banned from ever using the rideshare company's services again. Get out of my car. Get the out of your car. Bitch. As a flight waits to deboard, one passenger films another. Apparently, smoking. Uh, excuse me, can you not smoke a cigarette right now? Oh my gosh. Excuse me. Are you right now? I have asthma. It's been put out. Flight attendants are alerted, and an hour later, when the plane finally taxis to the gate... Ma'am? Ma'am? An officer arrives to remove the now sleeping woman at the staff's request. While the other passengers, who can't deplane until she is removed, vent their frustrations. I'm sorry, sir, she messed everybody day up. Come on, now let's she go. Sleep. Uh, all right, all right. Do you have a bag with you? Uh, yeah. Where is it? Uh, Where is it? Uh, uh, bag. Uh, is this it, the colorful bag here? Uh, no. Okay, is it a gray? Uh, yes. The woman, <laughs> Seems to have trouble remembering the location of her carry-on. You might not even got no bag. This bag? Hey, no. she ain't got no bag. It's no. Her bag's under the plane, man. Get her. Take her off. Frustrated with how long it's taking, one of the passengers attempts to hurry the process along. I'm being for real. Y'all wasting your time, I'm I know, I know you won't believe this, but we can actually do this without your assistance. So just hold on, okay? I'm just seeing if she ain't got no bag, boss. Whether or not she had a bag is unclear, but the woman is escorted off the plane before anyone else, and ultimately, according to news reports, not arrested. Here's hoping next time she can wait till she's out of the airport. It's been or better yet, just bring a pack of gum. Get her bag for the plane, man. Get her. Take her off.